Mad Love Dramatic is uh, the only one love ballad track in our EP. Mad Love Dramatic is a song that I personally have written it quite a long time ago. It's a very Basically, it's actually a very sad song. This actually is a very typical kind of love ballad song. Uh, you know, like a guy, a guy is being abandoned by a girl. It's one of the most technical songs for me to nail it as a guitarist. It consists of uh, finger picking during the verse part, and uh, not to forget there's a solo in the song. Uh, I think melodramatic is one of the hardest track to uh, for Vincent to play. Uh, he came up with the strumming pattern first and he pre presented it to Ben and then he asked Ben oh, how it sounds like. Vincent's playing is very remarkable because I felt that his playing is very clean and when it comes to playing music, he is one of the most serious person I've ever met. He strives for perfection and sometimes it's a bit hard, a bit stressful to jam with him but you know, under pressure like this, you'll, you'll be better from, from there. You'll improve much more than, than you ever know. Supposed to be tuk right? He's telling you, he can hear you, Wow. Hey, you're ending with the feeling, ah. Uh. It's not recording from the second chord. Oh, just that, the sexy. Oh, the yeah. room. Actually, you want to do from the whole chorus. Correction, Kenneth, we do the whole chorus, whole second chorus. Okay? So you play before that, you play after that, so we can splice it for you. It means all the way to the end metal already. Because after that, stop is it? Oh, because I feel that melodramatic is one of the hardest songs because uh, there's a lot of uh, moving parts around for the bass, and it's not easy to coordinate them as well. person in terms of bass playing, you know, he's really open to new ideas, he's always open to learning new things, learning new styles. Ruben as a bassist, he is really open up for uh, ideas and towards Vincent's direction uh, in feeling for a track or something, he is able to improvise. Alright. Like a fool. Such a fool for you. The clock strikes at midnight I might forget you Desmond is, he's got, that guy's got a voice, you know, he's, he's really the sound of the band, you know, as much as the other members are. And, you know, it's, it's very rare to find vocalists, you know, of his caliber, of his range, of, of his character, basically. I think I've been in the band with Desmond for the longest time, and I felt that, uh, in terms of working together as a bandmate, he's pretty good to work with. Ruben is, a, is an old friend of mine, so we've actually known each other for almost 10 years or so. So uh, he's a very hardworking guy. He plays his bass uh, diligently, so most of the time he is able to come up with a uh, good bass line. The bass player, I would say a love-hate relationship. When it comes to Times there where our timing is not kept in place, we discuss and talk about it. Sometimes he knew his part, I miss my part. Sometimes I miss my part, he knew his part. So, you know, along the way we kind of like gel together. And though we make mistakes and we laugh at each other, end of the day, we still play well together.